Hi guys, Steph here. So, um, I just finished a card and, um, wanted to with you guys and go over what I used. Um, I can't turn it upright because the glossy accents on it are still wet, but I want to put everything away and go to bed and, uh, start something fresh in the morning. So for this one, I was going for a more vintage feel. So, this is the front of my card, and for my main image, I use CC Designs Victorian Emma, and as you can see, I Copic colored her, and I paper, bleh, paper pure, pieced, I can't talk, paper pieced the top of her dress, and I Copic colored the inside there. The line outlining here is uh, Christmas red stickles. I also added some Christmas red stickles to the berries on the holly leaf. And then this here, I used the liquid applique pen. And then, and the paper I used to paper piece her dress is also the same paper for the background which is My Mind's Eye Santa Claus right here um, and that's for this background paper here and here and I didn't need a sentiment for the front as the paper already had it on there and then I used of course so first of all behind her head you can hardly see it um, I should have done another one but it kind of got covered up. I used this Martha Stewart gingerbread stamp set here and just used this house right here. Um, there we go. But it got covered up a bit and then I put down the MFT picket fence die and I did that in craft cardstock and then inked it up with um, some tea dye and also vintage photo distress ink. And um, then behind the fence here, I did these trees, and they are from Lawn Fawn's Let It Snow. And I did those in distress ink as well, Evergreen Bow. And as you can see, the color turned out more green than this picture here shows. And, sorry, I'm trying to keep track of everything. Okay, then this door here is from a free stamp set, um, as well as this Noel hanging sign that I got in a magazine from Barnes & Noble. And it came with the magazine. So I use that door there, and then the Noel sign, and I Copic colored this, and then the white on top top of the boots, and then the white snow on the steps. I used some white enamel accents, and then for the Noel sign, I just added a little bit of my uh, diamond PSX to the bow and then the note the letters N O E L I use some yellow stickles cuz they're lanterns and I want them to look a little glowy and then these two red birds holding the banner up are from Lawn Fawn's Sunny Skies cuz I really wanted this size bird and I just Copic colored them red fussy cut them out and popped them up and added a little bit of PSX diamonds to their wings. Then this lantern here is from this Seven Gypsies Abundance stamp right here with the hot air balloon. And I just stamped it, Copic colored in with my warm grays there and yellow in there. And fussy cut it out. And then put glossy accents on top of the yellow and then 
This here is from, these are from American Greetings stickers. They're felt stickers, and I got these at Target. And I just used one of the wreaths. Put it on there, and then down here, you cannot really see it too much, is a small piece of music note paper, which is actually the back of one of these papers. And then over top of it is this, like, dark cranberry colored, um, hug snug seam binding that I had gotten at a, um, yard sale. I got it about 1,200 yards of different hug snug for, like, three bucks. It was awesome. Yeah, this one has a hundred yards. So, I used that and did a little bow. <clears throat> And that is the front of my card. So I wanted to go for more of that vintage feel. But obviously with a girl image you don't go too vintage. And then I got to do a quick peek inside because of my glossy accents and such. I don't want to do too much. So I continued in the paper. I used a spell binder, cut the end off, and did wishing you all the joy of the Christmas season. And that is from, let's get it down if it would, oh, there's a glue dot on it. It's a Hero Art set I got at Michael's, and it's this sentiment up here. And it doesn't have the name on there, but it says CL561. So, that is my card, and um, if you want, you can consider it my own challenge because I use more than two stamps. I use some trim and it's a Christmas theme. So voila! Showing you guys a little sample of my own for my challenge. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.